Monica Michelle here for After Buzz TV with Adam Jacobs and Isabel McCullough who play Aladdin and Jasmine on the national tour. I am so excited to be here. Hello. Hi. Hi thanks for coming. Of course. I'm sorry. That was a very long intro, but my <laughs> excitement just took over. You guys, this is my favorite show. As you guys know who watch um, these After Buzz shows that I host, you all know I love Aladdin. I talk about it all the time. I have the Aladdin phone case. And here I am next to Aladdin and Jasmine. Freaking out just a little bit, you guys. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, congratulations, first of all. This tour is going phenomenal. Yeah, yeah it really we're, is. we're selling pretty well. We've hit five cities in this first year. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're in L.A. now and sold out houses pretty much since. And we have three more weeks. And you guys are going amazing. If you guys haven't seen it, please, please get your tickets. They're going all over America. I love it. I've seen it, you know, two, three times here in L.A. They got a standing ovation after Friend Like Me. And when you see it, you will know why. You will know why that standing ovation came after Friend Like Me. It's phenomenal. Isabel's voice is breathtaking. I love it all. I love it all. They are fantastic. And I just want to know, like, you guys obviously play these parts. So what has, you know, playing Aladdin and playing Jasmine taught you about yourself? Oh, my God. Um, well, I love playing Jasmine because she is a strong feminist princess that yeah. not many Disney princesses are. And she's an intelligent, thought-provoking role model for young girls. And I think that's been great to play somebody who has so much confidence and has so much um, ability to talk to any person regardless of their gender. And that's been fun to challenge that and realize in myself my own like confidence and strength through yeah. her. So I think that's been kind of the best part of it for me. Yeah. Totally. And I have to say, you have a line um, that I love that gets you cheering, cheers every night that I've seen it. Mm -hmm. um, she's, you know, she's talking with her dad about marrying and, you know, the, the Sultan wants her to get married, obviously. And she's like, well, I don't have to get married. What's wrong with the woman running the, you know, kingdom, the kingdom? Yeah. I'm like the country, but that's not where we're at. We're in Agrabah. That's what you think of. Yeah. Though. That's the <laughs> illusion. And she literally gets cheers and screams every night and applause. And I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's awesome. It's amazing. And how about you? What's your, what has it taught you? Uh, I mean, I've like she said, it's I've gained a lot of confidence playing yeah. the role. It's such a from an actor standpoint, it's such a demanding role. You know, you have to be comedic, you have to be physical, you have right. to, um, you know, sing and dance and do it all. So uh, it's been a very challenging role to to try to to get a, a hold of, and and I've been fortunate enough to have the time with this role to yeah. uh, to really develop it uh, from the beginning, from the very beginning, um, to originate the role on Broadway and and to do all the research readings you know and so um it's great to to craft it and then to really feel like you've more or less mastered it by the end totally yeah. and speaking of it like he said i was gonna say it, but he beat me to it and i'm glad he did <laughs> he did originate the role he had it and if you guys know disney and disney theatrical group and broadway he was simba before that That's right. i mean come on broadway people do your research <laughs> we all know he was simba <laughs> right. and then um you got aladdin so what would you say is like the main difference because they're both like strong characters i would say yeah you know and they both have issues with their parents yeah um, <laughs> That's true. you know Thank uh you. you know whereas it's simba's dad and, yeah. and it's now my mom in this one but um you know it's they're i think i think that simba has a little bit more of that teenage angst going on yeah. that, that he just kind of lives in it um, and he has trouble you know g getting through it yeah. but but Aladdin you know he has his own struggles obviously trying to you know do do fulfill his promise to his mother and become a better person so he has his own work that he's trying to get through but he also has a little bit of that cool element uh, totally. that you know that swagger he's got a little oh, bit of that swagger which sure. I which I love to, to play and have fun with that yeah and you've been very lucky in the Disney family just kind of keeping it going maybe you know who knows yeah. next Disney Next Disney show that comes, you never know. there he is, there she is. Those. They're ready to go. They are ready to go. And yeah. I have to say, like, obviously, they have added new things in this song because you know the movie doesn't have too many songs, but at right. least they got together with Alan Menken and they've added new songs and new characters that I love. Um, what would be a new addition, like a new song that they've added? And oh. the <laughs> just a little ignore the stage door announcement, guys. <laughs> what would be a new song that they've added or a new number, new character that you guys love that was not in the movie? My favorite song, it's not even when I do, but uh, High Adventure that's with the three block boys where it's like the, yes. the swashbuckling yeah. sword number where they try to save Al. That's my favorite number in the show it, because, I mean, it's I think it is the largest stage fighting uh, with actual swords on stage that has ever been created and it's yeah. very intense choreography and it's very funny. Um, so that's my favorite one to like jam to. Sometimes I'll watch on the monitor. Yeah. 
That one's actually that is not, a good one. It's actually not a new sh- song. That song. Oh. There's a there's yeah. actually a bunch of songs that were restored from the film that were cut. So High Adventure, Proud of Your, Proud boy. Your boy. Yeah. The only two numbers that are new are um, uh, Diamond in the Rough and Million Miles Away. And Babcat was cut too. Babcat, Omar, Aladdin, Kasim. Right. So yeah, they the, the Aladdin's friends were originally for the film, but they were cut. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. And I love that number. Oh, and Palace Walls. Yeah. 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 You're right. yeah. And they changed that. I saw that. They changed that from the Seattle show to the... Girl, I did my research. I saw. You, yes. I researched. They changed it. They gave you a new solo. And I don't know what the old solo was, but I have to say I love the one that she sings with her. Um, what is it? The, the, not attendance. 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 Thank yes. You. Thank yes. you. I'm like, ladies in waiting. Yeah. What are they? They're my replacement for Raja. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Since I, I know. know. Speaking of, there's no Abu. There's no right. Raja. Well, you guys. Yeah, you know, my guys are, are, are Abu and her attendants are Raja. <laughs> and, you know, give more people more jobs. You know, That's plus, true. You, know, you don't want to have a puppet anymore. You know, they did that in Lion King anyway. So that's yeah, true. That's good. true. And it's like they, they are hilarious. Like you said, your friends are hilarious. And then you have like funny friends too, like her lines that she asks a lot. And do you got a brother? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, girl, we all can relate, <laughs> you know? So you, I feel like they've done a great job with mastering each character's like personalities to give you like that funny mm-hmm. thing that we wouldn't see if it was a puppet or something like that. Yeah, so okay. speaking yeah. of high adventure, because you said that, mm-hmm. where would you go on your high adventure? New Zealand. I want to go. Ooh. I want to go to New Zealand. I want to go backpacking. I want to go spelunking in caves and cage diving with sharks. Yes. And I just want to. Yeah, I'm a big travel nerd and I want to go see the world. So kind of everywhere, but that's next on my bucket that's, list. Do it. And then for yeah. there, go to Australia. I'm saying that because I'm from there and people are so nice. Are you really? I am from Australia and right. you will love it. If you're already making the 15 hour flight to New Zealand, do another two and get to Australia. You're right. you're there anyway. Perfect. Yeah. We'll do. You will meet the nicest people of your life. Right. Not biased at all saying that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about you? What would your high adventure be? Uh, where would I go? I don't know. I um, probably would like to, to visit the Middle East. And Ooh, after yeah. having done this show, totally. I, I've never been. And, um, you know, visit the mosques and, and meet some of the people. And um, But, you know, I, I'm, I love traveling. And uh, now, you know... Um, I'm soon to be finishing with Aladdin. I can't say exactly when yet, yeah. but uh, you know, I am very happy to see what's next on the horizon for see what's happening. So you definitely you think we'll be performing? That's not going to uh, stop. I think I'll feel yeah. Theater will always be my first love, and yeah. and music, and you know, because I started out piano and then trans. So like right. all that will still be a part of me for sure. Um, but. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. And if you guys can catch him before he leaves, please do. I was lucky enough to see him on Broadway and now here in LA. I'm not sure how long, how much longer he's staying, but just get your tickets for the closest date that you can. (laughs) And hopefully he'll still be there, but I'm sure whoever replaces him is talented as well. You guys will love this show. I'm not, I'm going to say this like about 15 times in this interview because it is fantastic. (laughs) Fantastic. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are doing a fantastic job. And speaking of, I mean, this is already, you guys have said it's a workout to be on stage. Mm-hmm. You're in this yeah. midriff top and pants. You're like, you know, shirtless with a vest. Mm-hmm. How, this is a workout, but do you guys do anything else to stay in shape? Like, what's your favorite way to stay in shape when you're not on stage? Uh, chasing my kids around. So yeah. I, got, I got twin boys. That'll uh, do it. So I try to split myself in half, but it doesn't, it's not physically yeah. possible. So instead I have to kind of be like Flash Gordon and kind of, yeah. kind of, you know, come back, stay here. Go, yeah. da, bip, 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 That's pretty and much boys it. have so much energy. They do. They have a so lot of energy. energy. I don't know. How, I was like, was I ever like that? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. It's so crazy. Yeah. I that'll, I guess I was. That'll keep you busy for sure. I have yeah. twin nieces, so I get it. Okay. A little bit le- tamer than boys, of yeah, course, but four, so they're, they're, they're four too. How oh, funny. Well, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> Um, yeah, that'll for sure keep you busy. Yeah. That'll do it. How about you? What do you like to do? Um, well, I I started off dancing, so I love okay. to take a dance class when I can because I think that's full body workout. For um, but sure. if I can't do that, then I like to do yoga or I go to the gym occasionally. Yeah. But I'm terrible at the gym. No, that's hard. I'm I all about it. classes too. Yeah, I love to go. See, I need somebody to tell me what to do, yeah, or else I'm like on you. the machines, like watching everybody being like, "Am I doing this right?" Or I go to a machine, and I look, and I do like read the directions, yeah. and I'm like, I do it two times or right. so, and I'm like, Meh, okay, I feel like that worked. <laughs> Yeah, so I need somebody to tell me what to do. <laughs> I something pop, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was good or not. Okay, we'll see. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. I feel like it totally motivates you when you're in class and you see other people and then, you know. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. For yeah. sure, a lot better. Yeah. Um, and I know your sons have come and seen you on Broadway. Have they yeah. been able to catch you out on tour as well, they like now that once. they're older? Yeah, they, they came one other time while we were in uh, Minneapolis, I okay. believe. And uh, yeah, they they didn't make it through that the, the, the second time. They The second act, they got a little restless and so had, had to take them out. But, um, but you know, they, they, they don't really get it yet. You know, they're still a little yeah. young to sort of understand that daddy plays Aladdin on stage you know they'll see my pictures all around town which is kind of yeah. cool I'll hear around LA and they're like daddy you know or, yeah. or they'll see the cartoon daddy so they don't they don't understand. I mean they get it though I mean were they yelling daddy from the seats like uh, during the show did you hear them yeah well they weren't yelling it but anytime I would leave the stage my wife was saying that they would be like where'd daddy go daddy where's daddy go where'd he go where'd they he go fully get it they, yeah yeah I think that's adorable sort of. <laughs> that's adorable and you guys it's a breathtaking moment there's even cheers when this happens it, there was applause when the magic carpet takes off yeah. look I know the genie works as magic y'all ain't gonna tell me how that works but that is fantastic yeah it's cool cause I'm staring and there's no strings you guys I don't know how they do this please go watch the show tweet me <laughs> if you can figure it out cause I have not figured it out since I swear to you the genie is real and he's doing some crazy magic <laughs> on this stage he is it's, that's it's the insane. truth that's how it works it's Disney magic it is. It's, it's mm -hmm. lit I cannot figure it out for the life of me. I'm trying. Yeah, keep trying. But yeah, keep trying. <laughs> I won't get it. I promise you. <laughs> but how is that feeling? Like I feel like you're sitting on this like magic carpet and you're flying and you. I don't know if you guys can you see the audience? Uh, not really. Not really. No, it's okay. too dark. Yeah, okay. during that scene. But uh, you can hear them and for sure. Like the you can hear the audible gasp when the yeah. set pulls away. It's really magical. It's amazing, and it's just so beautiful to see, and you guys are just flying and singing, and I'm like, oh my God, this is so pretty. Like, <laughs> I might have cheered up at that moment, but you know, that's a different story. <laughs> it was gorgeous. It's, it's insane, yeah. I loved it. It was a beautiful moment, and you guys are just like, I don't know, so in love. And I have to give a shout out to your guys' director slash choreographer, because let me tell you, what he's incorporated in the choreography yeah. is very similar to what I have grown up dancing, like circle dances, is mm -hmm. what we've done in weddings since I was three. Oh, okay. So Amazing. I'm like, I can just jump in. I got the circle dance down. I know this. All right. Shout out for the wedding choreography. <laughs> yes. with Casey Nicola, very, Tony Award winning director. It is yeah. very on point. I'm <laughs> telling you. He did his research. He figured it out and he did it. And shout out to him. And there's a very like subtle moments that melt my heart. Like after you guys sing a million miles away, mm -hmm. and then you grab her hand after that and like pull her closer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just the cutest thing ever. I love it. Thanks. I'm glad. You guys have like subtle moments. And then, girl, I don't know how you learn that choreography at Babcat or Mara Latin Kissing. You just come to the marketplace the first time. <laughs> and by the end of the song, she's dancing with everyone in the marketplace. She's, she's quick. She she knows how to, you know. And there's a lot of like got fast it. arm movements. And yeah. you got it. That was really funny to, in rehearsals <laughs> because, <laughs> I, I mean, like, we're all da dancers for right. the most part. We, we understand movements, but that's so specific. And like, it's a to it's like doing this at the same time but just it, it took us maybe i mean hours to get just the b b b foot leg bar uh, no uh, i mean i'll just like scream and be like ah! it was um pretty one funny yeah. yeah it was one of those moments but nailing it feels so good when you're yeah. like i got this it's in my body i don't even have to think about it yeah yeah cool. and it looks great on stage and their their hands like she said is going so fast and legs are flying and you're just like oh my god how is she picking this up she just said she just got here you know second ago and she's like bop, 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 bop. i'm like dang girl teach me your choreo she's ways super smart yeah i mean all she's been doing has been in her room so she's right. just probably just like had time she's to dance it. around exactly just, yeah Exactly. It's <laughs> awesome. And obviously you guys, I'm sure, have grown up watching Aladdin. Um, did you ever think this would, like, happen for you? Like, did you ever? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I mean, even when I was doing Simba, I didn't even know they were working on uh, Aladdin at the yeah. time. So it was a complete surprise to me when my agent called me and said they want to fly you to New York to do the first readings of Aladdin. And I was like, what? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I was flabbergasted. Yeah, <laughs> I would be too. Yeah, I would be too. Agents, give me a call. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me for Aladdin. It's okay. Um, yeah, I had I did not think this would happen at all. I mean, it kind of came up very unexpectedly for me as well. And it yeah. was like I was in another show with the same director, and he was casting this tour at the same time. And initially, I went in for the understudy, and then he was like, "Ah, yeah. oh, maybe you could play Jasmine." I was like, "What?" Yeah. So I got flown to New York for the auditions, and then just kind of it was a whirlwind and. I feel so grateful to be here, but I never expected in a million years that I would get to play this part eight times a week. It's like 
a total dream come true. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Pretty awesome. It's always been my favorite princess because, like you said, I feel like she's independent. She's strong. Mm-hmm. Like she doesn't need no guy to save her. She got yeah. this. You know. I mean, I think that's what's amazing about her. It's like women are complex human beings. They yeah. can be strong and also be vulnerable and fall totally. in love. And that's what she what she is. She's important. She's she's has all this internal conflict and has fun. And she yeah. is funny, but she's also stands up for herself. And then can you know he makes her knees like weak. You know right. it's she's full blooded, and I think that's what I love about her. She's amazing. I love her. And you guys do a fantastic job portraying both Aladdin and Jasmine on stage. And like you said, you guys had to come in and audition and, um, you know, try to get this part. And millions of people have to audition for any role, whether it's musical theater or commercials or dancing or whatever it is. So what do you guys do to calm your nerves? Because it is nerve wracking, people. I I remember for the final callback, he was actually in the room. Oh, Adam was. Yeah. He was. And I did did not know he was going to be there. And there were like four of us. It was a surprise. And I just I thought there was going to be reader because that's usually what happens. And we walk in and he's just there. I'm like, oh, hi. Because I, you know, I known of him for years and I respect his work and knew that he was loud. I was like, cool, yeah, do the scene. Um, so it was like, I think in that moment, it was just, you kind of have to let go of the nerves and focus on the material Yeah, and be like, yeah. you know, trust. I, yeah, trust yourself and trust your instincts and be like, my, I will serve, if I serve the material, that's all I can do, you know what I mean? And put my best foot forward in that way and have fun and play around. And yeah. that's the way, the key, I don't know if it's a key to a successful audition, but it's one way in to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And, like, that obviously helped you because you got the part. <laughs> yeah. So that's obviously <laughs> a worked yourself. tip. Yeah. Yourself. Yeah. 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 For, for her, yeah. She came in and she uh, – because I was there with all the Jasmines. Right. And, 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 mm-hmm. and she had that – that spark, that special, you know, Aww. magical something that, yeah. uh, you know, and, and um, everybody felt it. So it's, you, you kind of just know. Did they ask you your opinions of any of the girls? No, they, oh. didn't, they didn't actually know. <laughs> Which one, Adam, do you think? No, it was basically me like going into the corner while they like discussed <laughs> and then yeah. came out and, and they're like, so we think we, we're, you're going to like this girl, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like, okay. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And then like, what would be your tips? Because, you know, I'm sure you've had to audition for many things in your life. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have to sort of not think about like what's going to happen afterwards, right? right. Yeah. Like if you're going to get it or not. It's it's you just have to concentrate on your your preparation and your work and doing your best work every time. That's all you can do. That's all you can control. Yeah. Right? Cuz there's so much out of your control every time. So, it's better to just do your best and and hope for the best and then yeah. just let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's, totally. it's good to just let it go. Yeah. Another Disney uh, uh, and he actually yeah. sees that in part of your pool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was like I wonder if he realizes he's doing no, this. I did not. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> Another Disney one in there. Um do you guys ever get nervous before you go out on stage still or is it just like ah here we go? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. 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 There'll be like moments and then it's like this weird thing where like you go out and then it's all calm. And yeah. you're fine, but like you're right before, like there is a moment right before you enter on stage, it's like, yeah. and I'm doing it, okay, yeah. and now I'm on stage and I'm fine. But yeah, it's just just that moment. Like before. the very first moment when the when the genie appears and you hear the audience cheer yeah. for the first time, and yeah. you, and in or when you hear the orchestra downbeat, right. the downbeat yeah. of the orchestra, like that initial, you're like, all right, we're going, we're, we're doing, doing it, we're here, we're here, we have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that that those little butterflies, it's good. You get to channel that, yeah. and and it's like an adrenaline rush. I love it. I love it. And you guys have, I mean, celebrities come here nightly. This is LA. That's right. Um, I know you've also gone to the White House to perform there, you know, and you'll get your turn, girl. You'll go. But I don't know if you want to go right now. I want to go back to that. I don't know if you want to go right now, but maybe, you know. (laughs) Um, But you you guys have performed for so many celebrities, and I'm sure they've come back here and you've met them, taken photos, all that jazz. Who would you say were you like most excited that has come to the show that you were like, oh my God, I love them. I mean, we were just talking about Jimmy Fallon before before we started this interview and like he was some, he's just so cool and I, you know, have great respect for him and I just was like, oh my God, like I felt like we, and when he came on stage, he was like, I was like, uh, and he was just like, uh, (laughs) we had this like moment and it was, I don't know, he's just so cool and that, that was one of my like fanboy moments I guess. yeah that's a good one i like yeah. him he's hilarious he's awesome he's really good awesome. how about you um i actually haven't been around that much when celebrities have come the only one josh gad came which was oh, really that's awesome great. that's who i got to meet and he was really cool and very down to earth and chill that's that was awesome. fun yeah he's he was great in beauty and the beast he was and he's so funny so that funny he's like an endless well of comedy i have so much respect <laughs> for him and he's 
he's such a lovely human being. So that yeah. was cool. Yeah. That's an exciting one. I yeah. like it. And obviously, like, um, you know, you have sons who I'm, I know your wife performed as well. So I have no doubt they're going to follow in their parents' footsteps and, you know, be the next. <laughs> I'm not going to push them in that direction. Yeah. But if they happen to go that way. Would you be su- supportive? Would you be su- like, Of course. Okay. Of course. Yeah. 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 Because it is a tough industry, as you both yeah. know, and have faced the downfalls, or not downfalls, but the hardships of it <laughs> as well. Um, what would you, any advice for anybody who wants to pursue this? Because eight shows a week, your stamina, guys, I don't know how yeah. they do it. I really don't. It's another genie magic. So, yeah, you know, take care of your body. That's yeah. important. Uh, be disciplined with, you know, your health and all that and get enough rest. And Because to do eight shows a week, specifically that. Uh, requires a lot, right? So um, it's kind of like being like an athlete and marathon, you're running on your marathon every week. So you have to kind of take care of yourself. That's yeah. that's one thing I would yeah. say. That's a good, a good advice. How about yeah. you? Um, the best advice I ever got was uh, a teacher of mine said, you can't move forward when you're looking to the side. So which basically means like you can't compare yourself to other people and others' career timelines because it's so much about timing and luck and a lot of hard work and you have to yeah. put that work in but you can't like there's no benefit in comparing yourself or judging other people for their successes and tearing other yeah. people down so like be supportive be kind to everyone yeah. and work really hard that's great advice yeah i love i love both of that that's amazing and i can definitely use that too that's very true um i love it well thank you guys so much for letting me stop by i was gonna say for stopping by but i was the one that came in and <laughs> crashed adam's dressing room of course. um i had a blast and please people if you guys can like get your tickets right now i watch our interview like and comment all that then go to Ticketmaster, get your tickets. You will not regret this. Um, I had a blast with these two. They are so talented. It's my favorite show, and I would see it every night if I could. Yeah. Oh, so um, before we go, just tell them where they can find you on social media, like at. Oh yeah. So I'm at uh, Adam Jacobs NYC. There it is on all the socials. On all the socials, chat, uh, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, all, all, all that. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm at Izzy McCalla, I Z Z Y M C C A L L A, and uh, I only have Instagram. I'm. I don't have a Twitter. It's okay. I don't tweet. But yeah. Then you can follow Instagram me on Instagram. Her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a blast. Um, tune in next time. Until then, buzz you later.